Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best Mycroft cards for Raspberry Pi in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our top 5 best picks, and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a Mycroft cards for Raspberry Pi. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have Silicon Power 3 NAND, for a price of just $6.99, PS5.99 at publishing time. The Silicon Power 3 NAND achieved the highest speeds on the Raspberry Pi 4 and almost all the iZone tests, especially with fork random writes. It also, by a hair, loaded all of our apps fastest on the Pi 4, though its boot time was second slowest. The Silicon Power NAND 3 card also performed well on Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and Pi 0W though it didn't lead in as many categories. In addition to its performance, the card has one huge advantage over most of its competitors, the ability to physically write on it. Because the surface is partially white, you can scribble on it with a sharp eye marker. That helps immensely when you have multiple cards in a drawer and don't know which is which. Moving on to the next and number two with SanDisk Extreme Pro. SanDisk claims that the Extreme Pro can read at up to 100 Mbps and write at up to 90 Mbps and has labeled it with us, writing of 3, a video speed rating of 30, and an application speed rating of 8. As we note below, these ratings aren't very useful, but nonetheless, this card is indeed one of the fastest around. On the Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, the SanDisk Extreme Pro finished first in 6 out of 8 iZone tests, including random fork reads and writes. On Raspberry Pi 4, the card was within a few tenths of a second of the fastest application open times on the Raspberry Pi 4, and it was 0.5 Mbps or less behind the leader in the all-important fork random read and write speeds on iZone. It also had the fastest sequential write speed on the Raspberry Pi diagnostic test. SanDisk backs the Extreme Pro with a limited lifetime warranty and claims that it is waterproof, shockproof, and X-ray proof. The number three position is held by Kingston Canvas Racked. The Kingston Canvas React was in the upper performance tier on nearly all our Raspberry Pi Micros car tests, and it stood out by being the fastest booter on both the Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 3B+. It also provided application open times that were consistently among the best. The card's only real downside is modest, but not terrible fork reads and writes on the Raspberry Pi 4. On the Raspberry Pi 3 and 0, which have a slower Micros card reader, its fork scores were better relative to the competition. Kingston backs the Canvas React with a limited lifetime warranty, but it does not claim that the card is waterproof or shockproof in its market materials. Next at number 4 we have Samsung Pro Endurance. While it doesn't win every test, the Samsung Pro Endurance is a great all-around Raspberry Pi Micros card that promises up to 25 times greater longevity than a typical card. While we can't prove or disprove this claim, we do know that Samsung has an excellent reputation in the industry and backs the card with a limited lifetime warranty. The company also says that the card is waterproof, temperature-proof, and X-ray proof. The Samsung Pro Endurance comes close to the leaders on application open times and boot times while achieving fast transfer speeds on every test on every Pi model. On the Raspberry Pi 4, it achieved the fastest fork random reads on iZone and the speediest sequential transfer rate in the Raspberry Pi Diagnostics tool. Though it is labeled as US 1 speed, it hangs with or it paces cards that are labeled US 3. At $10.99 at published time, it's not the cheapest card, but also not the most expensive. The number 5 position is held by Samsung Evo Plus, selling for a modest $8.51, PS7.29 at publication time. The Samsung Evo Plus offers solid performance from a highly trusted brand at a very reasonable price. Samsung backs the Evo Plus with a 10-year warranty and claims that the card can survive X-rays, magnetic radiation, and even 72 hours in seawater. Most of us probably aren't worried about submerging a card in water, but it's nice to know that if you waterproof your Raspberry Pi, the card will be fine too. In our tests on the Raspberry Pi 4, the Samsung Evo Plus offered consistently strong application opens, coming within 0.2 to 0.3 seconds of the leader. It also booted in a speedy 24.7 seconds, only 0.7 seconds, slower than the Kingston Canvas React. The card had solid transfer rates in iZone, though its fork random writes were a little disappointing. Rates were much higher in the Raspberry Pi diagnostic test. 
on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, the Evo Plus got really good application open times and slightly better fork rights. The number six position is dominated by Kingston High Endurance 32. Kingston's High Endurance card may not be the fastest out of the bunch, but you'll make up for durability and reliability. Read speeds come in at 95 m slash s, and write speeds hover around 45 m slash s. Kingston also promises the card can withstand water, shocks, and just about anything else that could interrupt performance. Moving on to the next at number 7 with SanDisk Extreme 32. This 32 card from SanDisk costs a couple of dollars more than some others, but it's the fastest and best performing card in the Raspberry Pi 4 according to independent test. If you need slightly quicker read times, it's money well spent. The number 8 position is held by GXP Noob's Micross card. GXP is well known for some great Raspberry Pi accessories, and the company has now released its own Micross card with Noob's preloaded. This kit also includes a Micross to SD card adapter, along with a Micross card to USB adapter, making it easy to plug in your Micross card to transfer any files. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.